Jordan, I'm not sexually attracted to picking my nose. I don't know how to respond to that, but all right. Just uh, make sure you clean up your mess over there. Take my mess real quick. Yeah, take, take all, all right, that. All right. So while he's doing that, this is Dialogue Tree. A Oh, God. Oh, this is, this is not going well. That's a good intro. I, you know what? We're keeping Keep it, it, baby. We're keeping it. Oh, gosh. You're going to throw up. Why don't I still have this keyboard in my lap? I don't need it anymore. <laughs> Man, you okay? I mean, it's, I thought it. I thought it was. Your keyboard just fell like three feet. Yeah, it's fine. It's for my backup. Your backup? It's That's my, how rich you are. It's for my. He's got a backup keyboard. It's my backup. In case he breaks key. it when he's playing Fortnite, he just breaks out the other, the other razor. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully that didn't happen. I actually don't use razor products. Just for anybody that was curious. I like razor. They're fine. Wait, don't you have a razor headset? No, it broke. The the stuffing came out the side of the ears and. But does it still sound like? Oh, it still sounds can good. You still, 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 can you still hear uh, Ninja telling you to that gaming is a wait? No, what does he say? Can you still hear Ninja saying that? It, the, the the phrase "it's just a game" is. Don't, I don't I don't remember what he says. Gaming is such it's just a game is such a weak mindset. Yes. Uh, yes, I can still hear him say that. I actually actually goodwilled those headphones. I think I trashed the headphones. I don't think I goodwilled them. <laughs> hey, y'all can have. <laughs> take these broken headsets, you poor plebeians. I ended up really hating them because the wire got all rickety tangled together and I didn't like them. So now I use... I had a, uh, a Razor Viper, the mouse. No? You don't... No, no I'm wait, sorry. No. What? No, it's, it's fine. Uh, now I have a, a one that's not... I just got a wireless mouse because I didn't like the way the, uh, the wire... The cord. Fell, it, like, would drag against my computer and stuff. Yeah, I understand that. Uh, but now I feel like... I've had this G... Force, no, is that the name of that hamster movie? <laughs> yes. Geoforce. G Force. You have this wireless I have Logitech. A wireless Logitech G Pro mouse, because 'cause I'm a gamer, right? I have you know that I've played Fortnite twice. That's right, baby. You were supposed to tell me when you got sick again and I could take you to the hospital to get well. You've played it. No, I've played twi- it twice. This was like five years ago oh, when the game God. first came out. Okay, thank God. Fortnite's not, it's, you know Fortnite's still in beta? <laughs> like they, it's still I mean I haven't even seen anybody play that game in probably a year but yeah I think it still says beta people still play it man it's they, always of course they do it's a, probably the besides maybe League of Legends and Minecraft it's probably if not bigger than them okay we actually do need to tell the people what they're listening to this is oh it's a video game podcast yeah this is Dialogue Tree That's, we talk about video games yeah I'm Jordan that's Ryan Hey. That's not even, they're not even good. What? What do you mean, what? Did you not hear that? Like, Oh, the birds. We, I, yeah. I, re- I really thought you were referring to a plethora of other things. I, the listeners. They're not even good. <laughs> I bet they don't even have a victory royale. I don't think I've ever won a game of Fortnite. Well, I, how many get? Wait, how long ago was it that you were talking, telling me that you wanted, <laughs> that you no, wanted no, to no, play I Fortnite? No. <laughs> Out of everything you could have brought up. Everything you know about. Everything. Really? No. No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> like the next day, I was like, guys, I, really, I don't really care if he plays Fortnite or not. I was like, yo, how's the Fortnite playing going? He's like, oh, I, I just never played it. Okay. I, you know, there was a, there was a small glimmer of hope that thought if some boy with blue hair could do it, maybe I could do it too. It, he's not a boy. He's a man. Is he? Are you sure? I mean, maybe. He doesn't even drink G Fuel. No, he drinks, he drinks Red Bull. I do like his little candy station he has on his streaming thing. He has like a candy cabinet thing and like little hobby lighting. It sounds like something Bill Cosby would have. <laughs> no, this is... I mean, they are fun size can't hold... I'm, I'm not going to make any accusations no, I, here. I actually like Ninja. No, yeah, I I enjoy looking at people's stream setups. It's oh yeah, he's his obviously he has a very professional uh, stream setup, dude. Um, this isn't a news podcast or anything, but I just thought about how Doctor Disrespect Ninja and Shroud were all gone off of uh, from streaming for like a month and a half or more. Yeah, kind of crazy. Yeah, they can definitely. Kind of do whatever they want, and they they are all back. Yeah, Shroud got like two hundred thousand, three. I think I know. I think it was four hundred thousand 
peak viewership uh, the first day he came back. Around 30,000 subscribers. If you don't know subscribers on Twitch, you have to actually pay money. And I think the streamers get around 350 for each subscriber. Just shows you how much uh, he, he made in one day. Yeah. And yeah. that's just from subscribers. That doesn't include donations. Or any of his other revenue forms. Oh, but streams. this is that's not a I'm Twitch saying. episode. Maybe in the future, this is actually... On this episode, I wanted to... If you don't know, the past couple weeks or so, there was a kind of controversy about how the PlayStation version of the upcoming Avengers game, as bad as that game looks... People are very upset because the Xbox version and PC version are not going to get Spider-Man. Also, they're not going to get some of the uh, playable missions. And, yeah, but Spider-Man. Yeah. That's but Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Cares about. That's what we're, exactly. But so this week's episode, I wanted to talk about exclusives and kind of how they have been controversial in the past, whether we think they're good or bad or not. I did kind of want to go over, you know, what an exclusive is. Obviously, you know. It's exclusive to a certain platform, but you you have like first party platforms. No, I'm sorry, exclusives like Halo, in which Microsoft not you know they own the IP. You have a second party exclusive. This is actually a lot of people don't know this. Um, like Ratchet and Clank on the PS2 was actually a second party exclusive because uh, my, Sony didn't own. I think this is how it works. I might be. I do know that Sony didn't own Insomniac until last year. 28 when Spider-Man came out. No, yeah, until after Spider-Man came out, I think. That's right, that's right, because they bought it. Yeah, so I don't think, yeah, Sony didn't own Insomniac until 2019. Either way, they, I know, that, you know, maybe they might have owned the IP of Ratchet & Clank, but they didn't own this the they, studio. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what it was. Um, And then I, I kind of guess a third-party exclusive would kind of be like how Kingdom Hearts on the PS2 only came out on the PS2. They yeah. didn't own, obviously, Sony doesn't own Square Enix, they don't own any of the Square Enix properties and or they don't own the, Disney. Yeah. But it was still exclusive to the uh, the PlayStation. So, and then you have things like limited time exclusives like um, Tomb Raider. Yeah. When yeah. that came out, uh, it's been a couple of years. It's been more than a couple of years. The first Tomb Raider mm -hmm. yeah. reboot. Yeah, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. People used it a lot on benchmarking PCs as well as it was a, just a PC exclusive. So, yeah, that was a um, Xbox exclusive for a year, I want to say. And, uh, I don't know, it might have been like five years ago by now, but it didn't really do that well. A year later, it came to PlayStation, and I think it did better, but I do think... Let me mute my phone real quick, like a professional. Yeah, it's doing it's doing pretty well. People enjoy the Tomb Raiders, and then obviously you have, you know, like console exclusives, but they're still on PC, kind of like Street Fighter Five. Yeah, yeah. That, so anytime you hear the word console exclusive, it's usually talking about it's coming to a console like the Switch, the... You know, PS4, Xbox, but it, it'll also come to PC or mobile, maybe. Yeah, which is actually really interesting. Now, it kind of feels like it's kind of become not loosey-goosey, but definitely more lenient than it has been in the past. What do you mean? Whereas... Um, are you talking about how more things are coming to... More things are coming to more platforms rather than this is a, you know, PlayStation-only game. This is a Xbox-only game. You know, kind of at weird. least from second and third parties, I would say. I think yeah, that first parties there's there's still plenty. Of, obviously, you know, Sony owns all these studios like Naughty Dog, Insomniac, uh, Sucker Punch, and you know you're not going to get those games on another platform. True. Uh, I was just kind of thinking about how Xbox and Game Pass and stuff was kind of not going around that, but just kind of going. No, that, I mean I don't think that's going around that at all. Well, it's still getting people their first-party titles, like Halos and such. Xbox has been doing that in general, though. That's not just Game Pass, although that is a big component of it. I mean, Halo is on Steam now. You can get Cuphead on the Switch. I think you can get Cuphead on the PlayStation now. Mm -hmm, yeah, and I was just thinking about that, how it is one of those things where, you know, people have that now, whereas before, speaking specifically about Kingdom Hearts and such that it you know you don't have that on you know well now you do but back in the day are you choking i don't I'm, no okay i'm not choking thank you uh yeah like nowadays you have kingdom hearts on xbox and such i think it's actually on game pass at yeah. least some of them are yeah it's on xbox game pass ultimate uh um, no it's, i think it's just on the the piece the uh 
the console version. You don't have to get ultimate. That's yeah, that's what I meant. That's I, I meant not the PC version of Game Pass. Um, you know, obviously Tomb Raider's on different stuff, and so now things are kind of branching out, and it's kind of becoming this awesome place of you can kind of play games pretty much on whatever you want to 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 an extent. Yeah, besides first party PlayStation and of course especially Nintendo products, I'd say that's that's true. Sony has their PlayStation now, which I think is on PC. So you can play some first party games and and the like on PC. But you know, Nintendo is completely closed off. If it's not a Nintendo console, you're not going to play that. But there there are still of course first party exclusives for those two consoles especially. Yeah, you can play Halo and stuff on uh, on PC, but there's most PlayStation games you can't play on uh, on PC or Xbox, and you can't play any Nintendo on either on any of the other uh, platforms. Yeah, that's definitely true. It's uh, Nintendo definitely keeps their feet out of like everybody else's kind of thing, you know, where you know different games kind of dance from you know this is an exclusive for X amount of time on this, and then it'll go to a console or whatever. Nintendo. Well, th- that's only that's that's almost completely. Just second and third party though, they you Un- Uncharted will never be on Xbox. Uh, yes, yes, of course. And I don't, th- I don't even. Know. I could see Halo be- being on PlayStation first. Or, wait, what did I just say? I could see Halo coming to PlayStation. Yeah, before Uncharted came to mm-hmm. yeah uh, Xbox. I could see. I think you may can, even can play some Uncharted games on the PC through PlayStation now. Whether Depending on what games are rotating in yeah, and out, and it definitely comes down to who's de- who, what you know, who's dealing with what and teams and different stuff like that. You know, well, my, my point is that there are still exclusives. Yes, of course, and there. Well, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that's not going to change anytime soon, whatsoever. You know, even when we don't have, um, even when we don't have boxes, if we just have computers with apps, you're still going to need the PlayStation app or the Nintendo app to play those games. Yeah, or whatever, or whatever it is. To be able to access those, yeah, because they'll always the be the Stadia app. Ugh, made my skin crawl with that one. That does. Um, the Stadia have an app? I don't know. I, oh How no, do you yeah, access wait. it on your phone. Wait, no, yeah, duh, duh. there is an app. Yes, uh, is there? I think so. Yeah, you can look that up. Yeah, look up Stadia. I'm really curious. It's uh, I know because I know when I was trying out Assassin's Creed Odyssey through Stadia, you uh, you had to go through the website and do it, and I'm pretty sure there's a Stadia app. Yes, there is. Yeah, it's uh, one million plus downloads. Man, people, people were really excited about that. And you know, I'm sure. I mean, that's not very many, though. How many was it? One million. Oh no, I th- I thought you said a hundred million. No, yeah, I was no. thinking. I was like, hundred oh. million would be insane. I was thinking, okay, that's pretty good. Uh, you know, somebody out there, somewhere, their favorite way to game is Stadia. It's Stadia, oh, they, I guarantee it. And they're like, I was, I was never I mean, able. If your to- favorite game a couple years ago was We Happy Few when Red Dead Redemption came out the same year. Yep, they're right. And someone out there likes gaming on Stadia. One thing, one uh, example, though, that I want to point out exclusives, and I think you might be able to speak on this because it's a game I believe you played, is, um, when was this, 2013, 2014, when Destiny, came, the original one, came out, a lot of content was exclusive to the PS4 for, I want to say, a year? Yes. So, as as y'all know, well, I guess y'all don't know, so I didn't get a PS4 until Spider-Man came out. I got the Spider-Man PS4 Pro. And so I was playing Dest- the original Destiny on an Xbox One. And a lot of stuff was exclusive to Sony. You know, weapons, maps, uh, raids, like stuff that we had to wait like a year for, I think, if I remember the timetable right. Just stuff that we, in game stuff that we did, sh- did not have access to at all, being on Xbox, which is insane. Uh, I, you know, obviously I'd grown up with, you know, all the consoles and stuff or some of the consoles and played exclusives here and there, but I'd never felt it in that aspect of you have this game, this exact same game that someone else gets to play and they get special stuff that you don't get to have. And it was really weird because, you know, you paid the same price for the game. You both paid for whatever the subscription was to play online but I couldn't do the same stuff the PlayStation boys were doing just because I had an Xbox. Was that stuff DLC or what, what was it? No, it was in-game stuff. Like, so it, didn't the uh, 
the first expansion kind of PlayStation first too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, Way of the Wolves or whatever it was called. Yeah, it was PlayStation exclusive first for a long while. But yeah, Sony was getting or PlayStation, whatever you want to call them, was getting um, like exclusive raids, exclusive weapons and stuff that Xbox eventually got, just way after, you know, than Sony. And so the games were then on two different kind of tracks you know sony with the stuff first and then whenever really what it felt like is whenever they felt like putting out the content for xbox they'd be like here you go you know throw you a bone it was the contract is what it was it wasn't <laughs> anything to do with that it was we'll get sued for millions of dollars if you break yes, the contract yes, but I, and I've, I've heard people give the point also i think that w- that would probably probably be perceived worse today when there is more crossplay. so if i don't even remember i think destiny is getting crossplay, but not yet Imagine, though, if you're playing Fortnite on PC and your friend's playing it on Xbox, but they get it, you know, they get content qu- earlier than you do. It's kind of weird because it's a live game that you both interact with each other. It wouldn't be as bad because imagine literally, imagine playing Destiny with your buddy on, on Xbox and you have a PlayStation and you literally can't do the same raid. Yeah, it was weird. Also, you know, with it being Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 being free to play now and getting cross play uh, just a quick tangent that was a really it's a really weird journey for destiny because i got it on ps4 played it trans destiny 2 or- sorry destiny 2 yeah i got destiny 2 on ps4 transferred my character to BattleNet when it was got to pc and so i bought it on ps4 but then it became free to play on pc so the character just got transferred and then transferred from BattleNet to steam and that was just a really weird from jumping from platform to pc then to a completely different launcher then to another different launcher just to play the game uh yeah like they gave it away for free on playstation now i think i i remember downloading it on playstation now never playing it downloading on BattleNet, never playing it downloading it on pc and finally playing it yeah it's uh but yeah going back to just how they kind of interacted with the whole Sony and Xbox thing. Yes, there's contracts and stuff, but, and I get it. You know, it's not about saving face or doing right. By it's the, definitely not about saving face. Well, I'm just talking about like, sometimes it just feels like, I get it. They have a contract and I'm not mad. They didn't do like quote right by the players because <laughs> it's, I get it. At the end of the day, it's business, it's money. Some people, uh, I was he- hearing someone say, they really don't blame so if you're gonna blame anyone don't blame sony because it's kind of their job that's like getting another game that's like saying going out to activision and saying hey we want this game to be exclusive on our console it's kind of their job to make it their console more enticing for their players to purchase yeah and i'm not i'm not mad at sony about that at all they did a really good job with that and hell they still do i mean just look at how well spider-man did for them I mean, think about how many times you see a, a, a commercial. It's not as much as it used to be, although I haven't seen... I haven't watched cable in three years. But um, if you would see an ad for something, how, how many times you would see the PlayStation come up? And you, you'd see the Xbox one come up sometimes. But how many... Especially if it was Call of Duty or, or Destiny, you would always see... And of course, they were both owned by Activision. You would uh, always see the PlayStation logo pop up. Oh, yeah, it was definitely... Sony's really good with their marketing. Um, And it's one of those things where you kind of look at it and go, I definitely have to say, currently, Sony, in my opinion, is doing much better with exclusives than than Xbox. Now, granted, Xbox has acquired a bunch of studios. They've they've got some interesting-looking stuff coming up. Yeah, it definitely... I want to see where Xbox or Microsoft, whatever you want to call them, is going to go because uh, they definitely, they just, it feels like they're just in the background like, come, come children, come wayward children. Well, I, Let I feel us like buy the your really studios. They almost don't care where you play their games as long as you play their games. Yeah, yeah. and it definitely feels like that from uh, at least my standpoint as a consumer where, you know, I pay X amount of money for Game Pass and it's literally, it's literally saving me money. I know we mentioned Game Pass a lot, but it really does kind of... It plays a part in all this exclusive stuff because it bypasses a lot of things that we're going to be, I'm sure... I mean, I guess they could have released it on Steam or something. But it helps 
Xbox, you know, put a lot of games like Halo onto the PC through this new service. That otherwise, I guess you'd have to buy on Steam and stuff, and it makes it... It's definitely a part of the conversation is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it gets games. It gets Xbox games in people's hands that may have never played them or will rekindle people's love for Xbox and then, honestly, probably in turn help with sales for the next generation console. I don't know if it'll help, but like I said, I just don't think they care that much. I think that they're becoming more of a service company if as long as you buy their games or as long as you pay for their services i don't think i don't think game pass is actually i don't know if game pass is going to help sell next generation xboxes at all i guess it's i can kind of see where you're coming from with that especially Cause, since, just because why would it yeah true i guess they haven't uh, really spoken too much about how game pass is going to be implemented on their newest console well it's going to be the same well, it's going to be the same as it is now oh really? nothing's going to okay. I mean, why would it what would change i don't know i i really the don't only know. thing that could change nothing's going to change as far as you know there's going to be all their games are going to be coming still maybe the price would go up or something or maybe the games would there'll be more games but there's always going to be more games they've yeah. always promised the, the service will get more games but i don't think they need to go super into in depth about game pass on Series X because it's going to be the same as it is now except better presumably. Yeah, I got yeah, I, I can see that. Uh, ne the next generation is going to be interesting for exclusives and just everything in general. I really want to see. You know, I'm not even thinking about Nintendo's <laughs> next generation at all. But no, I feel like they're three or four years away. Yeah, you know, they're they're always doing their own thing anyway. So it's I don't I kind of just wait and see what they do. It's just like. You know, kind of like uh, how Reggie Fisa may announced the uh, what is it, the 3DS? He's like, this is this was in my pocket. And that was the DS. That, what did I say? 3DS? Yeah. Oh yeah, I meant yeah DS. But I don't know. I'm I'm not up in arms about this whole Spider-Man Avengers thing, like some of the other people are. I can see why they're mad about it, but I think it kind of plays into the fact of that I really wasn't hyped. For this game at all, I'd, I had a little hope for it, and then I saw the gameplay. I do, I do wonder if I would be more upset if this was a game that I was, I had all cared about. Yeah, you know, if. Uh, but I, I'm not one to care that much about this kind of stuff. There are games that I uh, wanted to play on the Xbox. I still want to play the uh, the rare replay, but it's not. I don't own an Xbox, and it's not on PC Game Pass. But I'm not gonna go and scream about it online. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, I guess it comes back to how some gamers just feel entitled. They feel that they, and sometimes people just want to complain too. You know, they want X, Y, and Z reason to complain about something. Uh, you know, I've seen the memes and stuff here and there about, you know, oh, this is not good, or this is good, or, you know, there's... Those sound like awful memes. <laughs> This is good. I'm gen this I'm, is bad. I'm general. Meme. I'm, I'm compressing them. Uh, yeah, I I don't know. I'm kind of kind of with you in the boat of maybe if this was, let's just take this wild hypothetical. Will Smith's Wild Wild West, the greatest movie of all time. No, but dude, this is good. This is a hot take, and it has nothing to do with video games. Has Will Smith done anything good besides Fresh Prince of Bel Air? Do I need to look up his IMDb page? No, I just I know he has. I just he hasn't just been he just hasn't been doing great. No, as of late. No, <laughs> the last thing he was in was Gemini Man. I think maybe he was in the YouTube Rewind last year. That doesn't count. I want Marquez oh, Brown. I want Mar I want Fortnite and Marquez Brownlee. Wait, what? <laughs> I, I guess. I did see something really funny. I feel like he was there. He's like, who? Fort what? What am I? Will, just just say, just say Fortnite. Just just say Fortnite. Okay, y'all are paying me a bunch of money. I'll say it. Okay. Uh, I did see something funny. Slash, it was kind of bittersweet that uh, YouTube still has to make the rewind for this year. So That's not bittersweet. That's hilarious. Yes, it is. Yeah, it Man, it's been a shit year so far. Anyway. Um. Okay, wild hypothetical. Uh huh. Here. I'm listening. Cyberpunk 2077. Okay. If it was 
so actually, I got to rethink this hypothetical because what I was going to share. You're going to say if it, what if it was Xbox exclusive? Nope, no, no? that's not what I was going. I was going to go with I was going to go a direction with some of the information they released with the Night City Two, which you haven't watched, and you said you don't want to know any more information about it. So I have to change the hypothetical. Oh, uh, so okay, so hypothetical is for Cyberpunk 2077. PlayStation gets a certain playable area, Xbox gets a certain playable area, and PC gets a certain playable area. Okay. All exclusive to that. Be kind of weird, but That okay. particular system. And that basically each has a different ending, essentially. What would you... That's weird. That would be really weird. It would be really weird. Also, the song, that would, it's Actually, kind that, of a weird hypothetical because I don't think it really... It doesn't work. Makes sense. Yeah. Now, now that I think about it, it doesn't really make sense. So let's just throw that out the window. That doesn't work. Okay. So what if they had? No, that still ends up kind of the same thing. I was going to say, what if they all three had different playable classes that you couldn't play? But that's well, still. I still. I'm, I'm going to get it on PC no I, matter what. I know. I know. So this hypothetical doesn't work. So I guess my point is invalid with what I was trying if, to make. If you're going to say, are you, are you, if you're going to try to say, what if it had this amazing thing? On Xbox that it didn't have on the other two, is that the point you're trying to make? Kind of, yeah. Like, wh- what if they were all I, same base level of awesome game? Just okay. All three were drastically different. You didn't get the same experience as I play it on PC. Okay, so it really wouldn't. Like I said, I I, I don't I have no, I do not have access to Rare Replay. I didn't have access to Halo for years. I didn't have access to Gears of War for years. I, I'm not. It's not like I've I've never experienced this before. Yeah, I guess it's true. I yeah. I guess and I about ex- games, not about character. Uh, one character. Yeah, you're right. Um, and also, who's really crying over this? Like, are there- I think it's probably not that many people. Exactly. That's my thing. You know, I've seen you know, YouTubers making funny videos of it and stuff. And- I mean, like I said, PlayStation wanted the the one to be a, a better reason. For you to get it on PlayStation, and that's it. This is a, a reason that people that might have a an, an Xbox and a PlayStation or an Xbox, all three consoles or something, and they're like, "Oh man, what do I want to get it on? I'll get it on PlayStation." Yeah, which I don't really. I'm sure. So I'm sure the developers or, or companies, better said, aren't. They're not hurting for this Avengers money. They, you know, it's extra. It's it's pocket change well, for them. No, no, it's not. No? No. I bet this game costs hundreds of millions of dollars to make. I know. And they... Square Enix... Even if, even if Square Enix were Microsoft, one of the biggest companies in the world, the, Microsoft isn't going to be like, ah, we spent $200 million on this. Just screw my, it. My thing is, where did the money go? Like, what did they put the money into? The game. I know, but why does it look like that? Why I don't it... know. They, they had to pay a bunch of voice actors. They took them... It's taken them years to make this game. They had to get the, do the licensing fees. Yeah, I guess they that's have true. To, I mean, it's a ton of work, a ton of money, a ton of collaboration. I guess I'm just not happy with how they spent their no. money. It just doesn't look good to me, and it seems like it doesn't look good to you either. But I don't like Fortnite, and plenty of people like that. But Although I'll, I will say that I don't really see anybody at all really hyped about this game. No, you, you know, I'm sure there are somebody, you know. There's no, always, there definitely are. There, this there, this yeah. game will sell. This yeah. game will 100% sell. This oh, yeah. is going to be a big... I would not I would be surprised if this game sold less than 10 million units. Because, maybe not quite. I don't... Yeah, I'm sticking to my guns. Just because I don't think... We're, in, we're enthusiasts, right? Yeah. But the, you know, majority of game sales, console sales, microtransactions, etc., and so on, are from... More casual players. Oh yeah. That might not. That might just go. Oh, I like Spider Man. You know, I haven't play, I haven't bought a game this year. I'm gonna. I, I'm looking for a new game. I'm getting. I've gotten tired of X Y Z game that I've been playing. I'm gonna call it my buddy and let's see if we can play Avengers. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Go, oh, this is bad. Let's play Fortnite. Yeah. Yeah. The the band the band of brothers as I call them that kind of. It's a good. Is that a good movie? I can't remember. I think it's Vin Diesel's in it. Maybe I'm wrong. Vin Diesel. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so, like, the band of brothers that kind of roam from game to game with each other, you know, like... You're they, talking about, like, the people who buy a couple games a year. They, they buy FIFA and they buy 
and they play Fortnite and stuff, right? Yeah, you know, like the they got their group of friends and they they're all they all go in on the game. They're like, okay, we're gonna our next multiplayer game. We're gonna hang out and play together is gonna be this. And there's definitely gonna be that group of people that are just like, hey, we're getting Avengers. We're playing it. Oh man, this game shit. Oh well, well, I guess we'll go back to Fortnite or whatever we're playing, Call of Duty or you know UFC Cage Fighting Twelve or whatever it is. So I don't know. It's it makes me think of you know the how maybe maybe people are just pissed because it's Spider Man. No, they definitely are. Uh, if this was, I don't know, I don't know that many exclusive Black Widow. I don't know. Yeah, then no one would care. Yeah, but you know, uh, it's just Spider Man. Spider Man is up there with Batman and Superman in popularity. Yeah, so Spider Man. Spider Man sells. It's. Uh, I mean, I like Spider Man. He's. I like Spider Man a lot. Yeah, and I have a PS4 though. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was there was a there was a twinkling where I was thinking, you know, I don't want to play this game. And I was like, oh, Spider Man's in it. Eh. No, even you couldn't put anybody that, in this that, game. That's why I said twinkling. Like, you could put Batman in the game, and I'd be ooh, really that, weirded out. First of all, but that'd be kind of epic. Second of all, I just still wouldn't play it. Yeah, it's uh, it's not for me, but it definitely reminds me of back in the day. I thought this was badass when they did this. The um, the exclusives they did for Sony and Microsoft, the Soul Calibur oh, exclusives. Soul, it wasn't just no, 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 my friend. The GameCube got by far the best. Who'd they have? The on GameCube th- got Link and Soul Calibur. Holy shit, that's cool. You got to remember, I don't have GameCube knowledge. Uh, wow, what a scumbag. That's awesome. Holy shit. Link you got a, a GameCube right there, baby. Link and... I'm looking at it. I mean, we got two over there. Uh, yeah. I play mine. It win. 2004. I was going to say, has it turned on this year? I don't think no, so. No, I don't have a cable. I'm missing a cable. Baby, just... I've you, been missing a cable. Just trade cables back and forth. It's going to steal yours. <laughs> no, I need them. Uh, yeah, that is actually kind of crazy that... Does he do, does he do like crazy... Does he I don't know. Blood? I said 2004. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. I, I don't remember. I didn't play much Soul Calibur. It did make... I think me- I put it at the dentist's office alongside Sonic... Okay. Because for some reason, every dentist's office has Sonic. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, they kind of. They're trying to make you happy before they gas you and start ripping your teeth out. Maybe for you, I ain't never had a cavity. Are you serious? Never? Nope. Like ever? I've never had a cavity. Never ever. Never ever ever. Twenty plus years on this earth, never had a cavity. Well, just wait. They're coming. <laughs> just wait. In your <laughs> mid forties, that's when they really kick in. They're really coming, dude. I was listening to. Uh, I was watching. Oh, who was it? I think it was Shroud Were you yesterday. listening or watching? His first, watching. Okay. Um, on his first day back, and he said uh, he didn't take very good care of his teeth when he was a kid, when he was a teenager especially. I want to say he said he had, he went to the dentist and they told him he had 20-something cavities. His mouth must have just been, like, felt like it was in, literally in a bear trap. So now he has fake teeth? He said, they, "I don't, I don't know. I, I think I, maybe I was listening and I'm not watching, but he, I think he, he said they had to go in there. He said every day, every, every week, he would for like weeks. He had to go in the dentist's office and get a couple cavities fixed for like, literally weeks. And he almost had to have a a, a root canal because one of his teeth was just rotted, n- just rotted just away. Rotted the about. dentist was like, apparently, he said the dentist figured a way that he didn't have to have cavity." Why are we talking about cavities? Oh, Sonic. Son- GameCube. Sonic. Of Exclusives. Course. When I think of cavities, I think of Sonic. I was happy playing this game in the waiting room, and now they're ripping out my molars. It's time. Oh. I should have known when they gave me Sonic 06. I should have known. Now I'll get my teeth ripped out. So, back. You're just like, at least I'm not playing Sonic 06. Oh. Oh, I could, I could, that's a, uh, that's definitely a you joke. Um, yeah, I liked. Take that as a compliment. <laughs> Take it how you need to. Uh, I liked Soul Calibur. Like I've talked about in the past in conversations, I like Soul Calibur. And I. Well, that's has uh, Geralt in it. Really? Which is from a game that you still haven't played, I'm saying. I own all three of them. I nope. hate you so much. You're welcome. I gotta fuel your rage somehow. What else is gonna get you out of bed? Okay, so. Getting back on track here, I do want to because we I think we've been focusing mostly on the negatives or on the more neutral side, and then of course we've spoken about how PlayStation Now 
and Xbox Game Pass are kind of getting around exclusives in some way. But I do want to kind of talk about some positives. For example, a lot of these games just straight up would not get made. Because if you uh, if you go to Sony and they fund your game, you might not be able to... You literally might not be able to make it if, if, if it wasn't going to be exclusive on Sony's platform. For example, that game that was supposed to be exclusive on the Ouya... Oh, Tower Fall Ascension? Yeah! Holy crap! <laughs> but now you can play it on literally... Okay, so... God, oh, God, God bless... God, God bless this, this idiot across the table from me. But, oh, he backed the Ouya! Yeah, I, I like support. I have... My heart's too big sometimes. So he didn't buy... But he didn't buy Tower Fall, did he? Did you? I can't remember. I It was one of those... The only reason to buy an Ouya. Well, you know... I at the time, I bought the Ouya, and then you know it wasn't what it promised. And now you can buy Tower Fall Ascension on literally everything. I think Steam sent me a thing about it today. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we um, see you bought an Ouya. Would you like Tower Fall Ascension? Shut up, Steam. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah. So, I think I quickly realized that it was a regrettable purchase, and I decided not to give them any money because going through their catalog. It well, would be giving Towerfall Ascension money mostly. They well, get I, most of it. Well, I know, but going through the catalog because they were they promised just the Play Store pretty much didn't deliver that. Of course, pretty much. For they they were probably like, we'll try to get the Play Store on as soon as I, possible. I'm pretty sure it was a, like a bullet point on their Kickstarter. Like you Look can at, access if the, you like if you zoom in like a hundred times. It says. Probably not gonna happen. Yeah, probably not gonna happen. Yeah, and it says we recommend just getting the uh, the APK. Yeah. Uh, so you, I mean, you saw you saw the menu. Oh yeah, we plugged it up like a week or two ago. Jordan, pl- now we got it. Now we have it literally sitting on the wall of our studio because we're insane. It's the worst thing I've ever experienced in my life. The the buttons, the the uh, the, the trigger, controller. I wouldn't even call them triggers. They're literally buttons, and they have like a, this, just the most garbage. A single spring in each trigger just feels awful. It the faceplate comes off and it feels like it comes off when you play it. I uh, it does. If you use that controller for thirty minutes, you will have copper tunnel for the rest of your life. <laughs> and then the uh, the the face buttons feel like you're trying to push Smarties in to a piece of plastic. Yeah, it's rough. It's real rough. Also, the face the face buttons spell out Ouya, which yes. is just amazing. Yes, uh, you know Sony, get on that. Figure out how to. Figure out how to spell Sony. With yeah, change up your <laughs> this f- five times into your system. Change up your your lettering, um, man. Yeah, exclusives. It's, look, look, my, I was gonna say as sad as the Ouya was, it ha- it probably helped Tower Fall or whatever. Be uh, be like, and of course there are better options. You know, better examples than the Ouya. Um, Demon Souls was exclusive to the uh, PlayStation Three. I think it still is. And of course, it's getting a remake for PlayStation Five, maybe PS Four. I'm not, I can't remember. Either way, those are exclusive, and Sony helped fund those. So, perfect example of exclusives uh, at at the time of their original release, Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. See, I don't, I don't think that is a good. A, a, I a, see. I mean, I, it's a, gr- a great game, but I got a Square point. Enix and Disney are both both massive companies. Yes, I know. They didn't. But the point I'm making is. Kingdom Hearts danced from PlayStation to Game Boy Advance. And so, oh, yeah. To, I hated that, though. Yeah, I think that that's a bad example. It, but as bad of an example as it is, I know people that specifically bought those consoles to play those games. So as terrible an example as it is... I think that's a bad... <laughs> it, it moved... It, it worked for them, but I'm, ta- I'm talking about more... They didn't need to be exclusives for money reasons. No, but they were, and it it had me trying to figure out as a kid, how am I going to get the money to get the P- PSP? I think it, I think it went the... from PlayStation Two to Game Boy Advance to there's a weird mobile one that was Japan only. And so then, it went from and then it goes. There's one on D. There's multiple DS ones, right? Okay, so it went PSP. There's a PSP one. Yes, but so it went. Kingdom Hearts 1, PlayStation 2. I, I guess I'll run through this bullshit real quick. Okay. <laughs> Every time you play, you start to play Kingdom Hearts, I guess I'll run through this bullshit. <laughs> okay, so Kingdom Hearts 1, PlayStation 2. Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories was on Game Boy Advance. 
And then they did re-chain of memories. That was later. That was in 2000 and whatever. That was later. Way later. But that did come out on PlayStation 2. So Kingdom Hearts 2 went on PlayStation 2. Then after that, they did... Uh, my timeline might be wrong on all this. Who knows? Uh, after that, they did the 3D version, which was Kingdom Hearts Recoded, which was a release of the mobile game that Ryan was talking about. I have to stare at the wall and not at Ryan. <laughs> How long to, is this going to take? Well, you know, if my brain can catch up. Okay, then after that, there was Birth by Sleep on the PlayStation Portable. And then they went back to the PlayStation 2 because, you know, the PlayStation 3 wasn't out or whatever. And PlayStation 2 sold 150 million units. Yes, they did the final mix. And then we rode the final mix bullshit train literally until they gave us the 3DS game of 365 over 2, which covered Roxas and Organization 13 bullshit. Then they gave us the Rechain of Memories. And Wait, they, Rechain of Memories? They didn't come out. They came on the PS2, right? Yeah, it went back to the PS2. Wait, what year was that? I don't know. Long t- Not long and The PS3 must have... No, there's no way. I have... Wait, how old is it? The, th- the 3DS is only like 2011. Maybe my timing's off. Anyway... So it doesn't matter. It's it doesn't like, matter. That then they went to the 3DS and the DS, and now it's on the PS4, Xbox, PC, and yeah, and now it's yeah, PC and Game Pass. Yeah, yay! But that's I'm talking about more things that kind of needed, like like I said, Demon Souls, um, is is only on the PlayStation 3. You can't get it anywhere. Cause of course, now there, and that that kickstarted a massive genre. French. FromSoft would not have would no, be nowhere near where they were. They, you know, after that they made Dark Souls one, two, and three. They made Sekiro, and they made um, Bloodborne, which is another exclusive. In fact, a lot of people think have uh, I've heard at least say that they think that uh, Sony purchasing FromSoft would be a good decision, and I kind of agree to an extent. That'd be interesting. Uh, it's kind of like do, do does Microsoft own the people that made Dead Space? Or no? EA? Oh, <laughs> no. No, Microsoft does not own EA. <laughs> never, never. Who did I think made Dead Space? And yeah, they definitely don't own EA. Visceral. I think Visceral. EA Visceral made. Yeah. And, but they're shut down. They got shut down a couple I don't know why Demon Souls ago. and Dark Souls made me think of uh, Dark Dark Souls. Dead, what dead the space. Hell you... Dead space. I was having a my Dark, stroke. dead, yeah, I was having, Yeah, I was having a stroke. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, Sony definitely is knocking it out of the park with exclusives. I always forget how long of a line FromSoft and Sony have done together. Well, those are the only two exclusives. They didn't. They don't have Dark Souls one, two, and three, and Sekiro. None of those are exclusive. Oh yeah, duh. That's they don't right. own. Like I said, they don't own FromSoft, and they don't have as much of a second party relationship. One of the Until Dawn, which was it's been it's been three or four years ago now. Wasn't they weren't an exclusive, but I'm they, they're second party exclusive, and that's one of the best games I think on PlayStation Four, ex- especially exclusive wise. And that's uh I don't know how, if that game would have been funded as well as it was, I guess at least for um if it wasn't an exclusive. And I think I think that it would have been really good for Sony if they had I don't know about purchasing it, but they could have done like Insomniac for years. They didn't own Insomniac, but Spyro and Ratchet. We're always exclusive to the PlayStation, and they sell like it, well, good, good exclusives. Sell. Oh consoles. yeah, they sell consoles. Yeah, Expe- like, like you, like you were just saying with all that Kingdom Hearts BS. Oh yeah, they sell, uh, and that was a bad example. I mean, I'm super hyped for Horizon and Ratchet and Clank coming to the PS5. Uh, nothing has really swayed me to get the new Xbox yet. Maybe they'll announce. No, I'm not going to get it. I'm going to play their exclusives on Game Pass <laughs> because they do come out. That is still incredible. Uh, it's insane. I do want to like throw out some of I guess our favorite exclusives. Okay. Um, I don't know if you want to start. I don't even. I don't know what you got. So I haven't. I guess I can't. I don't have an Xbox. I guess Halo, but that's kind of like a you know, is an exclusive still considered? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I've consulted the committee and they have. Confirmed that Halo is indeed a exclusive for Xbox. I just had to be sure, you know. I didn't ever own an Xbox, an Xbox One or Xbox 360. Wait, know. you didn't own the original Xbox? Nope, never had one. Ah. Yeah, 
I guess. I guess never. That probably. makes sense. Yes. Yeah. Never owned one of those or a 360. I didn't get an Xbox One until 2015, 2016. Oh, also, <laughs> going back to the Ouya for a second. That came out the same year as the PS4. Yeah, I don't really know what was wrong with me during. I mean, you weren't uh, alone, dude. The uh, the video we watched, where um whatever her name is, the the head bitch at Ouya. She works was talking about now. how um yeah, I I saw that where she uh, was talking about how I had no idea I was probably holding the controller in my hand when she said this. Apparently, it has a touchpad similar to the PS4. There's no indication. No, no. It's just a big black strip down the middle of the controller. My favorite is she's on. Are you talking about when she's on that interview? When she's like, "There's no one else is doing this," and the guy goes, "PlayStation 4 controller has a touchpad." She's like, "Oh." I forgot her answer. It was some kind of bullshit. Like, oh, does it really? Sony exist? Like, there's a PS4? I would love, I hope to God that it was, does Sony exist? <laughs> Sony? Like, Sony? What? <laughs> Next thing you're going to be telling me Microsoft is a company. Ha. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. We're failing. <laughs> okay. So, back to the exclusives. Um, Microsoft had to be Halo. I do really enjoy those. I think I beat, I you know, at the time I didn't own it, but I beat Halo Three Wait, in one so day. Have you played Halo One and Two? Yeah, I played. All okay, the, okay. Yeah, I played. I played all the Halos. And I love the first three. I played. I think I beat the fourth one, but I don't remember. I played one to Halo One, Two, and Three, and I've beaten all three of them. And I've also played and beat Halo Wars One and Two. Have you played uh, Fable? Yes. Oh man, I love Fable. Like, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, no, no, you know, no telling when it's going to come out, but I really, really am excited for it. And of course, I definitely have a ton of some of my favorite games of all time are exclusives. Bloodborne is one of my favorite games of all time. You know, there's plenty of Pokemon and Zelda games that I love. True. And I think I just think that there's something. I also think that a lot of the exclusives, especially first party exclusives, have a lot of time and effort put into them, even more than. You know, the other AAA games. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, you know, I can't really imagine Sony without Ratchet & Clank or Jack & Dexter. Or, those are amazing games. I feel like I'm the only person on the planet that says Jack & Daxter. It's D-A-X-T-E-R. Daxter? Yeah. Not Dexter. I know, I, I pronounce it differently, but I'm saying it correctly. You just hear I it I pronounce wrong. it differently, but hmm. I say it correctly. Damn right, I'm sticking to that. I mean, you've broken my brain. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, those games are awesome. I mean, hell, God of War, you know. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, PS4. You know, if we want to talk about more modern day modern day exclusives, you know, uh, of course, the Uncharted games, the, the Last of Us games, whether or not you like the second one, story-wise, of course, it, it clearly had a lot of time and effort and put into it. Oh, yeah, most Spider-Man, Persona 4, or I'm sorry, 5, Five. although Persona 4 was also... And exclusive. You know, these are... A lot of these are masterpieces. Fat Princess? Actually, that might be almost... Fat Princess. I think that's PS3. Yeah. I never played it, though. It was fun. I liked it's it. A, there's a Fat Princess game, I think, on mobile. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know why she's in PlayStation. There's another exclusive, baby. PlayStation Battle Royale thing. They, no, that's that's the name of the game. PlayStation Battle Royale. All, PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. There we go. Ooh, man, yeah. Uh, on the Nintendo side that of things... Had- Big Daddy for some reason. It had Big Daddy, Sweet Tooth, Kratos, Raiden. But why Big Daddy? That's not an exclusive. Big Daddy? Bioshock's not a PlayStation exclusive. At the time it was. No, it wasn't. Was it not? No. Why was it in there? Maybe because they're, you know. I don't know. Why was Heihachi in there and every other Tekken character? Well, not every other Tekken character. There's like four. In PlayStation Battle Royale? There's like four Tekken characters. There is one. There is more than one. No, there's not. Look it up. I'm looking it up. I own the game. That literally means nothing. There's one. Tekken. Who's the other characters? I don't know. I can't name these dumb characters. Oh, man. Ryu? Ken? I played that game Those are Street Fighter characters. Those are Street Fighter characters. Holy shit. I do not know my fighting games. Tekken characters, PlayStation. Battle Royale. (laughs) Maybe there's only... No, there's, there's, there's at least two. No, there's one. The old dude. And then Cat. From Gabby Many characters Ra- from the Tekken series, which are Zayo. Wait, nope. this can't be right. Nope, he's not in there. <laughs> that is not correct. Just look up PlayStation Battle Royale 
characters. This is taking me too long. Okay, well, let's just leave it to I just see Hey Hachi, but... Yeah. Oh, wait, here's a list. Here's a character list. Why is Isaac Clark in there from Dead Space? He's not in the game. Yes, he is. No, I'm he's looking not. at yeah, he's a uh, he was a DLC character. Is he? That is one. I feel like I thought you were gonna say that's an exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> like your entire your entire your entire premise of exclusives have been shaped by this one garbage game from 2013. No, it's uh, I was confused because my I guess I turned my surface upside down, and uh, it was very okay. So it's Big Daddy. Cole McGrath, C- Colonel Raddick, uh, that's Killzone and uh, Infamous, Dante from Devil May Cry, that's also not an exclusive. Uh, although, some of them, I think the early ones might be, though. Um, Emmett Graves from... Emmett Graves from Starhawk. Holy shit, there's a Starhawk character. Yeah. Why? I don't know, man. They wanted to sell Zeus from God of there's War. There's two different Cole McGraths. Yes. Zeus from God of War, Cat from Gravity Rush, Tor- what? Holy crap! Spike, uh, Sly Cooper, Sack Boys in the game. Why is Zeus in here? Because they wanted to be able to fight Kratos and Zeus together. I do not remember him. Zeus? No, Zeus. no, don't remember. <laughs> yes, one of the most famous uh, mythical characters of all time. No, I don't know who you're talking about. I guess, I guess you were right though. I don't see. Yeah, he's not in there. I don't even see Heihachi. He's in there. He's in there. He, uh, he's not on the list. He's literally right under Evil Cole McGrath. He's ne- right next to Fat Princess. If you- oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess I was just wrong. Yeah, he's... Yeah. And then Papa the First Rapper, time for everything. You know, that's okay. Yeah, this game was not good. I, <laughs> man, I... No, it wasn't. <sighs> the Starhawk. Why is there a character from a game that I barely remember? I don't know, man. Why is this kid in here? I don't know who he is, but that dude? That's the guy from Ape Escape. Oh, is it really? I thought there was only monkeys in that game. No. Huh. And apparently, Spike from Ape Escape? That's who you're talking about, right? Yeah, apparently. Also, apparently, the cat thing is Sony's like unofficial mascot. I learned that. Toro? The gl- yeah. The yeah. little cat thing? Yeah. I honest to God thought that there were like five Taken characters. No, man, I don't know where you got that idea from. Well, but, there's uh, a bunch of forgettable characters in here and characters that aren't exclusive to PlayStation. I mean, it was pretty badass to see Kratos versus Sweet Tooth. It's a really bad game. It is. Okay, it is. <laughs> I can admit that. Was now. it even really badass? It was It was fun. It was really fun. Was it? I, I really enjoyed it. I got to top whatever the ranking system was. Number one? I don't know. Who knows? I don't know if it was real or not. It might just be the levels. It might not have actually been. This a came ranking. out the year before PS4. Yes. Yeah. You, you, this yeah. is amazing. Yes. It, I remember being so hyped for this game, L- literally playing it once, probably, and just, oh man, my dreams are just crushed. I just imagine at the same time you were like, "Holy shit, this is good." <laughs> like <laughs> a tear was rolling down my face because of how bad it was. And it was showing your face because of how good it was. I played this for... I, I wonder if I can get back into that old PlayStation account and see how many hours I put into this game. Because I, I played it a fuck ton. I probably played it like an hour. I, I played it. I don't know. Why is Fat Princess in this game? I don't know. Tara, There's no... I mean, I, I, I understand that the, Activision was... The only reason I think... Uh, Fat Princess isn't there. It's because at the time of this, Tara Strong... Well, she's still very popular. But Tara Strong voices Fat Princess. And I no think, one knew that. But, it was a cheap game that no one that had the li- that Sony had the license to. But also they could put Tara Strong's no, name on no the No, no one knew. Yes. No one knew. You're just a weirdo who is obsessed with Tara Strong. I'm not. She's a good purse actress. Well, it's okay. Who buys a fighting game because of the voice actress? I didn't. <laughs> I pre-ordered this because I want. I was like, Kratos versus Sweet Tooth? That's some badass shit. I can beat up Sly Cooper. Sold. I'm, I'm legitimately... No uh, no Sora. That was the disappointment as well. Yeah. Uh, they can't afford him. They can't afford him. They're a billion dollar company. Can't afford him. Too expensive. I mean, they could afford Pat Princess. Uh, cheap. And cheap five Tekken characters. Uh, allegedly. Allegedly five Tekken characters. 
Okay. Well, I closed the notes on this computer, so I don't... I guess that's the end of the show. Yep, I guess that's the end of the show. I guess that's going to have to be it. If you hear some noises, it's me packing up this shit on the table. So, I think that's going to be it. I hope I can rattle off the rest of this correctly. If you want to reach out to the show, you can on Twitter, at Wanami Podcast. If you want to reach out to us on Instagram, it's going to be at Wanami Gaming. Ryan has a Twitter it's oh, at yeah. Ryan Divisions. I have a Twitter. It's at a Sweelock. You can listen to this podcast wherever you enjoy podcast. For some reason, if it's not there, let us know. We'll do our darndest to get it there. Yeah, check on uh, iTunes. You know, of course, you can leave a review there. Of course, it's on iTunes. But you can leave a review there. Try to leave a review. I know a lot of apps don't have one, but of course, you can do it on iTunes. You know, you can leave a like on YouTube. Also, feel free to email us or shoot us a comment on Instagram and Twitter talking about your favorite exclusives or why you think they're good or bad, etc. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, our email is going to be one at me podcast at gmail.com. Like Brian said, shoot us an email about your favorite exclusives or anything you'd like us to cover on the show. Yeah. Topics, etc. Or anything like um, that. Also share this with friends and family on, you know, in person, if this is a the bit, the best way to, to share things is word of mouth and you know, Twitter, Reddit, even, even Facebook. I know Facebook is, just an endless hellhole of nightmares and demons. But if you have a Facebook, feel free to share it on there. True. Uh, also, if you're new to the podcast, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. I know subscribe in the... What? Yeah, I, I paid $5 to subscribe. What? I mean, uh, sure. I'll put that towards our bills. For oh, not the podcast. to us. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't yeah. want to talk about it. I understand. What kind of podcast it was. I understand. We all have those. I like listening to Soup Podcast. Anyway, that's going to be the show. What? Soup. Let's go. Never mind. Okay. That's going to be the show. Bye.